Good morning, Facebook. Welcome in. This is Kimberly with the House of Virtue and Evolutionary Moms Ministries. I am so glad to be back with you guys. I am so glad to be back with you all today. Welcome in. We are just setting the tone and the mood for worship and for prayer. I am so happy that you are tuning in this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just welcome you in today. We give you thanks and we give you praise. We thank you for all that you've done. You all come on in here. We bless your name, God. We all welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Welcome in. Good morning. Welcome in. Mm, revive my spirit within. And I will never be the same. Hallelujah. God, we just give you thanks. We give you praise this morning. Breathe into me, O oh Lord, the breath of life. So that my spirit would be holy and my soul made right. Amen. Breathe into me, O oh Lord, the breath of life day by day. So that my heart will be whole. Always. Always. Good morning, y'all. Welcome in. This is Kimberly Wright with the House of Virtue and Evolutionary Moms Ministries. I am so glad that you are joining me this morning. It has been some time and we are going to get back into our morning prayer. Our morning prayer. We're getting back into our morning prayer. So we are just inviting the Lord to come in and to be with us on today. We are just setting the mood and the tone for prayer. I am going to jump right in to our opening scripture. And that is going to be from Psalm 136. Psalm 136. Okay, our opening text. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To him alone who does great wonders. His love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens. His love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters. His love endures forever. Who made the great lights. His love endures forever. The sun to govern the day. His love endures forever. The moon and the stars govern the night. And his love endures forever. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt. And brought Israel out from among them. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm, his love endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder and brought Israel through the midst of it, but swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea. To him who led his people through the wilderness. To him who struck down great kings and killed mighty kings, Sihon, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of Bashan, and gave their land as an inheritance, an inheritance to his servant Israel. His love endures forever. He remembered us in our low estate and freed us from our enemies. He gives food to every creature. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his love endures forever. 
Amen. I don't know how many of you all that blesses, but that most certainly blesses my soul on today. That God's love endures forever. It's not ever challenged. It's not ever questioned. His love endures. It endures. It endures. It endures our wrongdoings. It endures our sins. It endures. His love endures forever. So, I want to just take a minute here and we are going to um, have our first prayer point of the day. And it comes from Proverbs 3, 6. In all thy ways, acknowledge you and you will direct my path. We are asking God to be with us today, to guide us today, and to direct us our path and be among us. Father God, we just come to you in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for all that you are. We thank you for all that you're doing. We thank you for being our great King. Lord, according to your word in Proverbs 3, 6, you said in all thy ways to acknowledge you and you will direct our path. Father God, I am asking that you direct our path today, O oh God that you direct us as we go, as we travel to and fro, as we go to school, as we go to work, as we make business decisions, as we make career decisions and purchasing homes and, and choices, oh God. Direct our path, oh God. Lead us and guide us today. Be with us and among us today, oh God. We need your presence today, Jesus. We need your help today, oh God. We need you to be our guide. We need you to be our God. We need you to lead us. We need you to guide us. We need you to show us which direction to take. Should we go right? Should we go left? Should we say yes? Should we say no? Lord God, what do we do? We need your leading, Jesus. He Lord, lead us and guide us. Lord, lead us and guide us in everything that we do. The decisions that we make for our children, the decisions that we're making for our household, the decisions that spouses are making over us. Father God, lead and guide those who are making decisions on our behalf. Lead and guide us this day, oh God. We need your leading God. Evil encompasses the steps of men. And because it does, we need your leading. We need your direction. And we acknowledge you. We bring before you today our lives. We commit our will before you, O oh God. And we ask that you be the director and that you lead us and guide us in everything that we do. We need you, God. We need you to lead us. We need you to guide us. Order our footsteps, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Order our footsteps in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, let our feet not take us where we ought not to be. Let our feet not take us where we ought not to be. Let our feet not lead us towards trouble. Let our feet not lead us in a path of unrighteousness. But Lord God, lead us in the path of righteousness. Bind our feet to the path of righteousness. Bind our will and our emotions to the path of righteousness, O oh God. Our mind to the path, our mind to the mind of Christ Jesus. Lead us and guide us and direct us today, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. We always need God to be our guide. And it's something that we have to ask him on a daily basis because we want to extend his presence we always want to invite his presence to be with us. There is not one place that I want to go. There is not one place that I want to travel to if God has not directed me there. If God has not directed me there and ordered my steps in a certain place, I most certainly don't want to go. 
However, it is with knowledge and asking and understanding God to lead us that he does do just that. He gives us what we ask for. We are still praying. We are coming from uh, prayer point number two. Prayer point number two. And it comes from Psalm 119 verse 25, which reads, My soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. What does that mean? My soul clings to the dust. It means being in despair of life, being overwhelmed by life feeling heavy, feeling oppressed, or in a low state of mind. This concept of my soul cleaving to the dust may look different for each of us. I know for me, this year has already been positive and negative in many ways. This year already has been good and bad in so many ways. And so there were good things going on and there were bad things going on at the same time. And it was a, just a constant snowfall and never a let up. One thing was rolling into another, this thing into this situation. And it just kind of created a snowball effect. For instance, um, at the very beginning of the year, actually before the year crossed in, my son was dealing with COVID. Then I dealt with COVID. And then after that, we had a death in the family. And then after the death in the family, I had the stomach flu. And after the stomach flu, I was dehydrated and just going through many things in my body that was caused by the dehydration. And so everything was just happening all at once. And it felt like I was trying to catch up. Or it felt like I had been tossed in at sea and was trying to keep my head above water. So for me, my soul has been clinging to the dust. And I don't know about you, we each have our own circumstances. We each have our own trials and tribulations. And even though the year has been a wonderful start, it's been a heavy start for some of us. And so I just want to encourage you to hold fast. And so that scripture reads, uh, Psalm 119 verse, my soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. So we are asking God, Lord, revive us according to your word. You're praying. I'm praying. I'm praying in my natural tongues. I'm praying in my spiritual tongues. You join me and we are going to go together in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, this year has already been heavy. This year has already dealt some heavy cards. This year has already been oppressive. This year has already been offensive for some of us. But God, I am asking that you revive us according to your word. According to your word, Lord, revive me. Revive me in my spirit. Revive me in my soul. Revive me emotionally. Revive me in my heart. Revive us in our understanding. Revive me in my situations, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I am asking that you revive me, oh Lord. Breathe into me the breath of life. Breathe into me, O oh God, the breath of life, and revive me in the name of Jesus. He called on Moshondoro Shekede Bianda, Rama Handoro Bosondoro Kihi Andara La Masando, O Condoro Bosondoro Shekede Bianda. Revive my family members, O oh God. Revive my mother and my father and my brother. Revive my son, O oh God. Revive my family. Lord, our soul clings to the dust. This year has come with many obstacles. This 
despite joys, it has come with many obstacles. It has rained and it has been a downpouring and it has been heavy. Life already in 2022 has come heavy and offensive. Lord God, I am asking that you, that you in all your mercy, that you in all your grace, that you in all your power, Lord, revive us, Lord. Revive us, Lord. Revive us, oh God. Revive us in our minds and in our thinking, Jesus. Revive us emotionally, oh God. Revive our children, oh God. Breathe on them the breath of life. Revive us, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Send revival to your children. Lord God, revive us. Speak into our lives. Speak into us, oh God. Breathe on us the breath of life. Revive us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Revive my soul. Revive my soul, Jesus. Revive my soul. Revive the soul of your people, oh God. Revive our soul, oh Lord. We are looking to you. We have answers, oh. We have questions, oh God, that need to be answered. We have decisions that we are faced with. We have obstacles that we are challenged with. Yes, it's the beginning of the year, but the problems don't stop. God, it's been overwhelming. It's been heavy. It's been despair for some and hopeless for many. Lord, I am asking that you breathe on us and revive our souls. God, revive us according to your word. Revive us according to your truth. Revive us according to the light within you. Revive us, your children, God. We need to be revived. We need to be restored in the precious name of Jesus. Whew. We need to be revived. When we are quickened or revived together with Christ, and by Christ, we are made alive. We're made alive, alive by his spirit and grace. The word of God is life and truth. And when we take rest in his word and meditate on his word, we are revived. I know the text says in Psalm 119 that we are preserved, we are preserved by God's promises. And so it is his very promises that keep us alive. And it is him, the only one who can revive us when we feel like our soul is clinging to the dust, clinging to the dust, despair, overwhelmed, heavy. And we need the quickening so that we can stay alive and continue in the fight to be revived again so that we can continue in the race. Because the race is never given to the swift, but to them that endure. How do you endure without ever letting the word of God and his truth revive you and resuscitate you and bring back life within you? It is impossible. And so that's why the psalmist said in, in 119 verse 25, my soul clings to the dust. In despair, overwhelmed, one thing after another, no let up. And so we need God to revive us. We need him to resuscitate us and breathe on us the breath of life. So we are still praying and we are going to move on to our prayer point number three that comes from Psalm 138.3, it reads, On the day I called, you answered me. 
You made me bold with strength in my soul. Woo! On the day, on the day, on the day I called, you answered me. You made me bold with strength in my soul. Listen, I don't know about anybody else, but because of this onset of things this year, even starting before this year, just an onset, one thing after another, and trying to get my breath before I could recover from this. It's something else happening before I could recover from that. Then I got to do this. And then there's more physical demands. And I just simply didn't have it physically. But I kept enduring because God revived me. And on the day that I called him, you answered me, the text says. You made me bold with strength in my soul. My God, he made me bold with strength in my soul. He made me bold with strength in my soul. I had the boldness to endure the physical things that I had to endure because he gave me boldness in my soul. I could endure the no. I could endure the mistakes. I could endure the things that I went through because he gave me boldness in my soul. He gave me strength in my soul. So we are asking God today, make me bold with strength in my soul. Father God, we just come before you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we are asking you today, Lord, to revive us. And on the day that we call you is the day that you answer. On the day that we reach out to you and say, Jesus, we need your help. That is the day that you answer. And Lord God, we are asking you, make us bold within our soul. Make us bold with strength in our soul. Make us bold with strength in our soul. Make us bold, oh God, with strength in our soul. Yeke de biando, ho korono masanda na sheke de bianda. Rama na hando ro no bo hondo ro sheke de bianda. Ye ro no bo hondo ro no mo sondo ro sheke de biando ro no bo kondo ro se. He under la hand or no bo kondo no bo sondo no she he under. Ye no no bo hondo no lo mo kondo no bo se he under da ba kando no she. He under no bo hondo no she ke de bi under da ma hando no no bo sondo no she. Father God, make me bold with strength in my soul. Give me strength to endure, Lord. Give me strength in my soul. Make me bold with strength in my soul. Let my soul be strengthened by boldness, O oh God. You answered me on the day that I call you. Make me bold with strength in my soul. Lord God, strengthen your people. Strengthen your sons and your daughters. Strengthen our children. Strengthen us as parents. Strengthen us as individuals. Strengthen us as caretakers and leaders. Strengthen us, oh God, early in this year do we cry out to you. Early in this year do we need you, God. Early, oh God, do we need you, Jesus. And the day that we call is the day that you answer. Lord God, make me bold with strength in my soul. Make our sons and daughters bold with strength in their soul. Bold and strengthen, oh God, to do the right things, to be courageous, to do your will, oh God. Make us bold with strength in our soul. I was just looking for some tissue. I heard Ayana Vinzat say, when you have issues, you need tissues. God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for making us bold. We thank you for sending strength to our soul, strength to endure, strength to endure the physical limitations that may have been placed upon us.
the physical restrictions, the mental restrictions, the emotional restrictions. Lord God, strengthen our soul to continue and to press in the face of oppression, in the face of depression, to continue on. Strength in our soul, oh God. Strength in our soul. Strength, strength, strength. I speak strength to your soul in the name of Jesus. I speak strength because when we call upon the Lord, he answered the same day. And if you just say, God, I need some strength in my soul. My soul is cleaving to the dust. Give me strength. The psalmist said he answered. God, make me bold with strength in my soul. In the precious name of of Jesus. We need boldness to be as strength to our soul so that we don't give up and don't give in. See, some of us started the year on a really good high and then all of a sudden things come crashing down. And then some of us just started the year off on a low. I know that 2022 for me has by far been the hardest start in my life, 2022. It's been good, but it's been the hardest start into a new year for me. So we need boldness as strength in our soul so that we don't give up and don't give in. Amen. All right, we are still praying. Her point number four comes from Psalm 105, verse 24. It reads, and he has caused his people to be very fruitful and made them stronger than their adversaries. You read it again. Prayer point number four, Psalm 105, 24. It reads, and he has caused his people to be fruitful. Amen. I like that. And made them stronger than their adversaries. So we are going to pray this prayer point in two points. The first is God calls me to be fruitful. Oh, I've been revived for a reason now. He gave me breath for a reason because I got to be fruitful in this thing. Yes, I got fruit to produce. So I needed the, the breath to revive me. So we are asking God, cause me to be fruitful. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, oh God. We come before your holy altar. And we are asking you as your children with our hands raised and our heads towards heaven, God, that you... God calls your children this year in 2022 to be fruitful. Lord, help me to bring forth fruit. Lord, help me to be fruitful this year. Lord, help everything that I do and everything that I touch to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Lord, help me to be fruitful, Jesus. You breathe your life into me. You revive me, oh Lord. Cause me to be fruitful, Jesus. I want to be fruitful. I want to show forth good fruit in the name of Jesus. I want what I do to be a blessing to others. Lord God, I want my child to be a blessing to others. Help me to bring forth fruit in 2022 in the name of Jesus. Yeah, 
Ranada na mahando rose, ye rolo bohondo roki, rama na handa rada mashando rolo bosondo roke hianda, rahanda rada mase, rama na hando rolo bokondo roche. Lord, cause me to bring forth fruit. Help me to be fruitful, O oh God. Help my son to be fruitful. Help my family to be fruitful, Lord. Cause me to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. I'm here on purpose. I'm here on assignment. I'm here because you have revived me, O oh Lord. I'm here because you breathe into me the breath of life. Lord, cause me to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. I don't know how many of y'all want to be fruitful, but I am destined to be fruitful. Say it. I am destined to be fruitful in 2022. I will be fruitful in the year 2022. In 2022, I will bring forth fruit. Say it like you mean it. In 2022, I will bring forth fruit fruit. He will cause me to bring forth fruit. I shall bring forth fruit in the name of Jesus. I've been revived. He's given me breath. He strengthened me in my soul and make me bold and I shall bring forth fruit in Jesus name. I'm going to bring forth fruit. Yes, yeah, been rough. Yes, yeah, been tough. Yeah, I've been in some pain. Yeah, I've seen some disappointment already. But I shall bring forth fruit in Jesus' name. Fruit. Fruit. You are here to bring forth fruit. God has you purposed in life to produce fruit. I speak to your soul in the name of Jesus. And just as the Lord has caused you to bring forth fruit, I speak in agreement that you shall bring forth fruit in 2022, not 2023. Now, 2022, I'm bringing forth fruit. No more delay. I'm going to bring forth fruit in 2022. Amen. Hey. He gave me boldness in my soul and it strengthened me. Isn't that what it said in Psalm 119 verse 25? Boldness. So I declare it. He has caused me to bring forth shoot fruit and I shall bear fruit in Jesus name. Amen. Oh, I love it. I love the, I love the word and I love the Lord. I love what he does for us. I love what he does for us. All right, we are still praying. We're praying part two of Psalm 105, 24. Okay, part two it says, and he has caused his people to be very fruitful and made them stronger. He made them stronger than their adversaries. Mm, mm, mm. Lord have mercy. I don't know about y'all, but if I ain't stronger than my adversaries, then it's a problem. So we are asking God, Lord, make me stronger. Make me mentally stronger. Make me spiritually stronger. Make me emotionally stronger than my adversaries. That's what we are asking God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just come to you boldly before your throne in the time of mercy. We ask you, God, to make us stronger than our adversaries. Lord, we have adversaries to the north to the south, to the east, to the west, to the northeast, to the northwest, to the southeast, and to the southwest. Lord, we have adversaries all around. But we are asking you to make us stronger. Your adversaries are the things that stand in opposition against you. Your adversaries are people who stand 
in opposition against you. Trying to move forward, but hindered by people. Trying to move forward, but obstacles keep happening. Those are your adversaries. There are spiritual things at work and there are natural things at work that try to keep you and hinder you. So that's why we're asking God to make us stronger than our adversaries. Lord, in the name of Jesus, make me stronger than my adversaries who are around me. Make me stronger in my mind against the adversaries who are attacking me. Make me stronger emotionally against my adversaries. Make me stronger mentally than my adversaries. Lord, make me stronger. Lord, make my son stronger than the adversaries. Make my son stronger than the bullies at school. Make my family stronger than the adversaries that try to oppress us. Make my mother, make my father, make my brother, make my cousins, make my aunts and my uncles stronger than their adversaries. Make me stronger, oh God. Make me stronger in mind. Make me strong spiritually. Make me strong mentally, oh God, than my adversaries, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, make me stronger. Make me stronger, Lord. Make my son stronger. Make me stronger, Lord, than my adversaries. Jesus, make me stronger. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, make me stronger, God. I, I, I want to be stronger than my adversaries. Because I have to outwith them. They're moving in one direction towards me. But the Bible says that they will flee in seven. And sometimes you need strategies. It's not a sometimes. You're going to always need a strategy for success in anything that you do in life. One of your greatest strategies that you have against your adversary is prayer. Prayer. Prayer is a virtue and it's a virtue for many reasons. You are strengthened in prayer. You receive revelation in prayer. You hear God's voice in prayer. If you're not praying, then don't ask God to just strengthen you and to help you and make you stronger than your adversaries. Because strength comes from reading and living the word of God. Next, we are praying for our children as we always do. I want you to call out the name of your children, the name of those that you take care of, your family members. Pray for our children. We are praying a blessing upon them. We are pleading the blood of Jesus over them. Lord, we come to you in the precious name of Jesus. Father God, Lord, I'm asking you that you bless our children wherever they may sit or stand, be they young or old. Lord, visit our children on today and strengthen them in their souls. Give them a bold and courageous spirit like you did with Gideon. Give them the spirit of excellence like you did for Daniel. Give them wisdom like you gave King Solomon. Strengthen our children, O oh God. Be a fortress 
and the hedge of protection around about them. Lord, visit them on today. Send a messenger, speak to them. Let them know that you love them and that you care for them and that your arms are Keep them strong. Make our children stronger than their adversaries. Make our children stronger than their adversaries. Make our children stronger than their adversaries. According to your word in Psalm 105. And cause them to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Cause my son to be fruitful. Cause our sons and daughters to be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Help them to be stronger than their adversaries and the blood of Jesus around them as they go to and fro today. Amen. Want to pray the prayer of salvation? Listen, you are welcome to be a part of the kingdom of God. He has his eye on you. He's been watching you. He knows you by name and foreknew you before you were in your mother's womb. If you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have never known the greatest love of all. So I extend to you the most important prayer that we have prayed today, and that is the prayer of salvation. If you don't know Christ and if you dare to know him, I want you to say this with me. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control over my life and help me Walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Listen, I love you all. If you did not catch the beginning of this video, go back. In this video, we were asking God to revive us. Our soul has clung to the dust and we just needed God to breathe on us and give us the breath of life and embolden us again and strengthen us in our spirit again to continue on in 2022. Our confessions for the day. I am fruitful. I am stronger than my adversaries. I am directed by God. My footsteps are ordered by God. I love you all. Like and share the video. This is Kimberly Wright with the House of Virtue and Evolutionary Moms Ministries. We will be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. I love y'all. Like and share the video and be blessed. Mwah.